Hey everybody, welcome to the Q&A for... <laughs> <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> Keeping on your toes. Uh, hey everybody, like welcome it. to the Q&A for May. Uh, the Q&A video for May, where we took the questions may that you asked a Q &A. during the... Yeah, this may be. Or maybe not, if I don't finish. Uh, but anyway, uh, on the Patreon, uh, we posted a little post and you guys were able to ask questions there. And this is the video where we answer those questions for the month of May. Um, just a little little post where you just put some words, type some letters some and posty. Uh, sequence, and I read them. Uh, and it makes sense to me. Um, but today's the video. Uh, we're going to look over all the information and go through some questions. We're doing it a little bit different because normally we have a form, but this time I'm just going to read it straight from the Patreon because, like, why do extra work at the end of the day? That's you know what I mean? the biggest mood, TVA. Yeah, it, we're, we're called unbeatable, <laughs> not unintelligent. So uh, we're going to start with uh, good old Tom Jackson, who's got a question that said, are the prices in the Mart similar to the games? Uh, as it has been seen, you can get more things, uh, but the prices are similar. So we're being extorted. Yeah. I, I want to hear your perspective on what you guys have thought about this. And then I'll give you I, the real answer. I just recently forgot how the money works in the game where uh, just like cash out any, any opportunity you can. So it doesn't really matter what the prices are. Uh, they could be the same. I don't remember um, how money works. So I just say, Hey, Aaron, can I get all this stuff? And he's like, all right, maybe sure. And then I just do the math, <laughs> make sure my bank account zero. And then, by the next month, I get a paycheck, and that's that's all that matters. I mean, truly, you're talking about real life, or nope. <laughs> well, I'll never. Tell. I mean, I don't feel like we get punished or like we have any trouble with money or like poke. Like we get rewarded well for it for a bunch of stuff that we do in the game. So it's not like just battles. Like we got rewarded for helping uh the rangers helping capture some rockets and stuff like that so it's like i'll ask the question again are the prices in the mart similar <laughs> to the game <laughs> that's what the actual question was i was sitting there like we went very very off <laughs> we, yeah, we went okay. but so yeah, the uh, point is we there spend we go. what we have because it's not We're hard to on. get it does that make sense yes okay. but are the prices the same as the, the game same as the mart <laughs> the i think okay. they are the actual know, answer is yes maybe most of the time um, for for the majority of things, potions, revives, things like that, uh, they're all the same. We're actually free. Aaron just lies to us. And <laughs> and makes us yeah, I, just, money. I, I make I make you spend so much money that you don't need to spend. Um, but the real answer is for all of those things, yes, the prices are exactly the same as the game. Uh, vitamins, healing items. However, um, two things are subject to change, which is a sometimes there's going to be points where like certain towns might be dealing with like inflation or too many supplies or anything like that. So like in Saffron, for example, all of the prices on like the Silfco products are going to be a little bit cheaper. Um, but big things like held items and TMs, those are totally subject to whatever I feel like charging for them. I don't want to be able to just give them hyper beam. Uh, I want them to be able to have to find the hyper beam TM, especially because TMs are reusable in this game. So I don't want them to just be able to go giga impact hyper beam for every Pokemon that they have. <laughs> or so you think. Um, but yeah, so money's a thing. Uh, next question is going to come from Sweet Tea. Um, <gasps> and they Thomas. said, um, uh, they don't know if this has been talked about or not, which I don't think it has been. Uh, how does the shiny system work? And then uh, question number two, what is everyone's favorite shiny? Because there's this Nitto King. So, Ooh. sorry, uh, that prince isn't going to be that for you. So Yeah, I'm sorry. That <laughs> you know, be shiny can't uh, can't change shiny that, Nido but King. you know. Um, the shiny system is entirely arbitrary and only comes up when Matt asks me if a, if a, if a Pokemon is shiny. It's great. Uh, <laughs> By this time, hopefully the first episode of the, the one shot Ooh. side thing that we had uh, happened and we go into a bit more detail there. But basically, Matt, this goes like, up in like a day or two. <laughs> So I lied, um, <laughs> but it basically boils down to uh, you're encountering a Pokemon and with the character I have, there's like a chart thing that you kind of go off over like a skill ability. And uh, it was just roll a D100. And if you get like 10 or something for that guy. Yeah, it, it was, it it. was I, I, I did a makeshift percentile system in an unreleased one shot that we recorded back in like March that will be released at some point. But life has been busy. It'll be released tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You don't know when this is going to be posted. No. That's fair. That's you can fair, wait until fair. the day before this gets posted. <laughs> um, 
but ultimately we that is one of the as the rules maker for the game that's one something i haven't really fleshed out yet is the shiny system um i will flesh it out more if more people than matt start asking me every time they run into a wild pokemon if it's a shiny guys uh aaron can't hear me right now i muted him ask for more shiny pokemon this is people in the comments too so i mean you guys as well in the game but, you know what you know. if if uh if we hey, get... aaron, i just unmuted you um yeah? they were saying oh i was gonna suggest about... something like completely i didn't hear anything that you just said what's up i was gonna say was if we get like 15 separate people leaving comments uh asking for more shinies in the game you guys will encounter a shiny crazy that's insane uh Madden anyway so <laughs> yeah no <laughs> i only have five so uh magma grunt william asked uh this question I um, we, let me read it first before that was the second part it. to sweet t's question there was absolutely oh, a right. second part to sweet t's question <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh leave it in the comments so i'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the second part of that question was, uh, what is everyone's favorite shiny? Can oh any God. of you think of a shiny off the top of your head? I can't. Wow. I shouldn't have brought yeah. it back, but I would have felt bad if we had skipped over half of Sweetie's question. <laughs> 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 I was giving Ponyta. you guys time. Oh, Ponyta's shiny is great. The blue Ponyta is beautiful. That's actually one of the first legitimate shinies I ever caught. Uh, in my copy of Platinum, I, I ran across one north of Orberg City. Hmm. Um, hmm. I really like. Um, I, see I don't know. There's too many. It's just my favorite Pokemon. So Regardless not, of my favorite Pokemon, uh, just thinking ones. really hard. So like <laughs> shiny uh, Altaria is just gold, which is great. Yeah, uh, I love that a lot. Uh, Sandy Gast is just black sand, which is dope. Um, and then when it turns into like the sand castle version of it, it's it's amazing. Um, Mudkip is Mudkip. It's just pink, uh, but it still has the orange, which is my reason. Oh, for, like, I totally should have had you guys run into a sandy gas um, on Cinnabar. Now I'm sad. I, that would have been Charizard terrifying, actually. Looks... So don't <laughs> don't do that. Um, but you know, uh, if it, at a later point that becomes prevalent, sure. But no, I don't want to do that. That's scary. Uh, uh, my favorite shiny is the second shiny I ever found in my life. Because the first shiny I found was an Oddish, which is just bright green. But the second shiny I ever found in my copy of Pokemon Leaf Green was a gold Magikarp. And that's the dopest shit. Guys, this is Aaron telling us he didn't play Silver Version. Everyone met one shiny Pokemon. Oh, I, I forgot about the, the Lake of Rage Red Gyarados. I guess that technically uh, counts. I'm talking wild shinies, though, because like everybody gets the Lake of Rage uh, Red that's Gyarados. That's weird. I'm reading Sweet Tea's comment. I don't think it's specified, but okay. I and it was meant to. Bird, did you come up with something in that time? We vamped. <laughs> I yeah, I've been so the problem with me is I have no object permanent. So as soon as you asked, I couldn't remember what any shiny Pokemon looked like. So I've been googling, and uh, well, first of all, I mean the Charizard looks dope, but shiny Rayquaza is like all black and gold. Oh, the black and gold. And that's that a great aesthetic. Sick. So have I'm gonna go with no shiny Rayquaza. Mega Rayquaza. No, that's a good one too. Google it. Google it. Shiny Tinkaton, I think, is also a very fun one. What is Shiny Tinkaton? I'm Googling this now. There's going to be an itself, image on screen of Shiny Tinkaton. Tinkaton itself isn't the Shiny Pokemon. Because is Tinkaton's hammer, hammer, hammer is... is yeah. yeah, it just uses Shiny Corviknight, which is crazy. That's so awesome. Tinkaton, a Shiny Tinkaton is just a Shiny Hunter itself. It's great. I love that's this. That's dope. And, I'm looking at Shiny um, Mega Rayquaza. That's, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm, I might change my answer. That's really good. Yeah. Okay. Now we have officially hit the second half of that question. There we go. Thomas, we love you. Before we move on, Aaron, if you take a step to the side, you will look like a floating head, and that's funny. What's the thing from uh, like about to Haunted Mansion? Haunted Mansion. Oh, that works too. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say I look like I'm about to uh, about to record Bohemian Rhapsody. Like I'm just about to be like, I do that. Galileo. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so uh, we got another question. Who did I say was the last one from? Thomas was uh, the last one. So Magma one? Grunt William. I was in the middle that of reading one. that one, then I realized yeah. I really skipped to the <laughs> next one. Um, and, Wait, did you uh, say William? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, no, William. He became William. a Magma Grunt. <laughs> <laughs> um, so sad. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll summarize it. I'll summarize it. So basically, they were wanting to... Uh, question about like the rule sets being officially released because they're working on a campaign that takes place in Hoenn uh, to DM and uh, they wanted to do it for the friends once it's all released and with your permissions wanted to use us uh, as NPCs and oh. what our characters would be doing there main goals uh, like to blow up and okay. act like I don't know nobody um, first of all yes you can use us as NPCs yeah, um, yeah. and then uh, transferring there as gym leaders to run a daycare other stuff like that they could see gavin taking over the four tree gym as the new flying gym leader type person uh stuff like that so uh, if you were to go well, actually 
Uh, this ties into another question that's further down by River, uh, which is, I'm assuming too far ahead, and this will depend on a lot of factors, but do you plan on visiting other regions? Uh, and if so, would you be using the same characters or would you like to start fresh, i.e. unbeatable a Hoenn journey, please? Um, also, do you count the uh, Sevian Orange Islands as part of Kanto? I assume so, yes, right? Because that's on the map. So I actually have a complex answer to the Sevian Orange Islands question. So I'm gonna save that for after all that. Um, because I'm gonna have some fun with that one. But, but yeah, also, that was a, it was a multi-formed question. If we did another together. adventure, uh, we'd be staying away from Hoenn for as long as possible. I can't let Matt have a mudkip ever ah! in my life. It can never <laughs> That's happen. Rude. Coward. That's rude. <laughs> I mean, how about you guys? I already played Unbeatable in another region. I started in Sinnoh. It just wasn't recorded. Oh, well, it was recorded, but it's not on how the How many internet. badges you got from Sinnoh? How many badges you get? Dang. All right. Anyway, so I think if we were in Hoenn... <laughs> Uh, I think if we were in Hoenn, um, yeah, I would just be there looking for Mudkip only is what Seth would be doing. Um, and You'd also be a Team team Aqua Grunt, though, for you. For you sure. Know, like, you know, yeah, I would immediately go join sign team up Aqua. for Team Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> if I could, because they'd be cool at this point. Uh, I would make Aaron make them good guys at this point in time. So, you know, we'd be playing the team, the, the Ruby version of the game <laughs> if this is what we were doing. I'm going to toss on a green bandana and fuck up both teams. <laughs> 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 Okay. Uh, anybody else have anything that they think their character would be doing in Hoenn? Ooh, even um, as an NPC. Not a clue. Not not a, not a single one had empty no thoughts when it comes to Hoenn. We're gonna have to workshop that, you know. <laughs> that's fair. That's valid. <laughs> yeah, what's happening? In head of team safari Mac. zone. Go to the safari zone. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, but we have one of those in Kanto, so I don't know why you gotta go all the way over there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when the professor uh, says we have a safari zone at home. That's valid. <laughs> The safari zone, uh, just like a parking lot with some wild, like, retatted. Let's see, like... Then I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, what Gavin, what we're doing. <laughs> I'm thinking about... I mean, for Corinne, it might be interesting. There is a fighting-type gym in... Ooh, Holland. yeah, it's its own little island. That's like the yeah, Cinnabar in of... Yeah, Yeah. Of, uh... Hoenn. Of, uh, of, of Hoenn. Maybe you go hang out with the with the gym rats there, and you can go yeah. and just exist. Um, anyway, Honestly, that, I think I would also be... Answer. If if I were to go there, I think I would try my hand at doing ranger work as Seth, mm -hmm. uh, just because of all like the secret forts and stuff you can do um, in that area. But also, Pokemon Rangers are great. So if I if I were to transition over to that, I would still have like the breeding background things, but I would also try and like multi class into ranger because that sounds fun. Um, and I don't do that in D and D, so why not? Oh, I'd have to come up with mechanics Pokemon. for the for the styler for, for the, the styler. Yeah, dude, yeah, great. For the, It'd be for so the good. Spinning top. Um, I think it would be interesting if you do that. If you use a styler on a Pokemon, you can't then catch that Pokemon as like a thing that would negate the yeah, Ranger I, I contract agree. agreement that they have with Pokemon. Uh, but I think that would be cool. Uh, anyway, uh, Brody, did you answer the question? Coming... Yeah, Gavin would just be trying to win the Pokemon League. Like that's what he does. Oh, he's just gonna go as a career okay. trainer, as an ace yeah, trainer. Yeah, that makes sense. Fair, fair, fair. Okay. Um, next question is coming from uh, Fernando, uh, which is, what is everyone's favorite video game other than Pokemon? My life is like a video game. There's um, there's video games that aren't Pokemon? Favorite? Yeah, favorite. Oh, I mean, it's easy. I've, I've spent over 400 hours in Elden Ring in the last year. I fucking love <laughs> Elden Ring so much. It's my favorite. Like, genuinely, it might be my most played game other than, like, World of Warcraft or Pokemon. Hmm. For a couple also of months boards. last year, my life was consumed by Kingdom Come Deliverance. So I'm going to go with that one. Oh, you did play that game a lot. It was like every time we got online, you were you were rocking Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yep. It's, a, it's a banging game. I feel like I could answer this for Kenna, but I feel like there's also like eight different answers for Kenna. Fortnite. There's we so like many. Because I was my immediately going to snap you to like Diablo or something. But it like... crossed my mind. I mean, here's the thing. My favorite games tiered in my head. My entire family are gamers. That's like how we grew up. So I have such good memories of playing several different games. And so they're like all my favorite for different reasons. But I think the one that brought the most people together for me and that I had the most fun and rage quits with... Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Super Mario Galaxy is great. I've, I've still never played Mario Galaxy. Uh, I never had a Matt Wii. You should. I went to my it's friend's great. house to play Wii, and I only played Wii Sports. That's bowling. I can set you up um, with a. Never mind. We'll talk about. 
A, a Wii is like $10 to go to, to a play video games later. <laughs> is, a, a Wii system is the cheapest system that's out there. Um, but uh, my favorite game is Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, there's a Keyblade over here, and then this is a big giant. You have to pick one. Um, Which Kingdom Hearts? No, no, it's it's all <laughs> which all one? Which it's one, all, Matt? <laughs> which one? Enemies. Answer the question. The people want to know. They want to know which Kingdom Hearts. I bet you pick Shield, don't you? I would yeah, say two. <laughs> no, he's referencing a tweet I made. Yeah, um, and it was funny because Shield was the one I didn't actually pick. That was the one I was chosen to like give up, and I'm like, I'm fine without defense. Um, yeah, I'd probably say uh, it would be it between two. Or three five eight over two days, where you get to play as Organization Thirteen. Um, yeah, characters that was very fun. I like um, Kingdom Co Kingdom Hearts Brotherhood. That's my favorite one. Um, get out. <laughs> All right. I, um, I thought Hearts, I thought you were Odyssey. gonna say the Kingdom Hearts where you play with the cards, and I was just gonna reach through the screen and just. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chain of Memories is it, it's a game, um, but. Uh, <laughs> My, my, my favorite Kingdom Hearts game is specifically the trailer where Sora's not wearing shoes. Next question. <sighs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, next question is coming from uh, Monkalunk303. Um, this is a good mm -hmm. one. What is one goal that you want your character to achieve this campaign? Um, as specific or as general as you'd like? Win the Pokemon this League. This is all you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting back for this one. This is all you guys. Win the Pokemon League. I'll give you something more interesting, yo. Um, uh, uh, punch his dad in the face. There you go. We can make that happen. <laughs> we can, we can make that happen. Uh, increase my rolling average, I think. <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> Which is weird, because you've been doing so good in Dungeons and Dragons, but the moment we play Unbeatable, you Yeah, just, it's, like, I don't know. That's my on. own, that's my own yeah. curse. Uh, I think if, for anything though, with Seth, it would be, um, just proving himself as someone who's capable to uh, like raise Pokemon and uh, like be responsible enough to be in charge of just raising said Pokemon um, and just showing that there's more than just battling to exist in the world of Pokemon. Like everyone just battles all the time, but like it's fine. What? Don't worry about send it. Me I a sent pink Matt man. <laughs> I sent. I sent. I sent him the same image I sent you, which is just Elden Ring Tinkaton. Credit to oh, whoever made this and we can time. find it. I'll send it to Kenna too. Fuck it. We'll put it on screen. Where's Kenna at? Oh, I've never seen this before. Oh, sorry, oh you sent this like Aaron a minute ago. Jeez. Completely distracted me from what you were saying. I know. I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, yeah. More, there's more to, to Pokemon world than just battling um, and uh, proving that to other people so they're not just like uh, battle hungry. Not that that's a bad thing, um, but just that there's there's more to life than that. Um, which can be good. Not to say you can't battle, because, like, uh, buoy sweep, but, you know, um, that's just the <laughs> world that we live in. It do be do be do up. I think whether this goal gets realized or not is kind of meh, but I think Corinne would love to take out the head of the uh, Rocco organizations. That would be All cool. of them? All, All two of them? them? Yeah. What about the third one? That's what not third rockets, one? but is. <laughs> we, we haven't no said the name of any say. third organization. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All it has not them. been. It has not been set on screen as to the my, moment se my the secondary goal for uh, Seth is to help get Corinne uh, acquitted of all their charges of murder with the, <laughs> the, the guy who we threw killed the, at least one guy. The fire extinguisher. Says who? To the says, grave. Uh, we did confirm in the moment that we're going to leave it ambiguous, so that character could potentially says come back. Says who? He's dead. But he's, he's, <laughs> he's, all logic says he should be dead, but we don't know. No, it's Snoke. Hey, man, like, he, he, can, he became Snoke. You can survive, you can survive <laughs> in a fire extinguisher straight to the face, I think. Yeah, but you don't there. survive you being could, face down yeah. unconscious in water. I think you could, you could survive with the extinguisher to the face. Being trapped in a flooded facility, unconscious, that was the kicker. <laughs> While there is the a rank chance. 10 electric type shocking the pool that you're in. Because no. remember, immediately the Electivire did battle in that pool. No, they did it in Avatar Shape of Water. Everybody will be fine. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. What's the next uh, question, Matt? Fun one, which I already know the answer to, and I think everyone else can agree to, uh, with uh, Jamel Commodore. Uh, out of the Pokemon uh, of no. each player's team, which personality do you think, uh, or do you like the most, and what is the professor's favorite? 
Um, I have I two answer answers. I know the I know the people. immediate one uh, for my team is Gibble. Because yep. that's, the, that's the one. Gibble, dude. But I, I personally I like Bowie just because Bowie's my boy. But uh, Gibble, man, Gibble's Gibble is great. I, I get Matt off camera all the time where we'll just it's, be I, sitting honestly, somewhere. I think everyone at, this, myself, at any point gibble. can just be like, Gibble. And it's just, <laughs> oh, it's the best. It's going to suck it's when he so evolves, good. but you know, it's going to be great for me. Gabbite. <laughs> you can just leave him as Gibble forever. <laughs> Never. I need to win fights. So I got I to gotta up them up them numbers. You going to grow uh, today. Honestly, based off everybody's ranks, we should like, based off what we've recorded, not what we've released. We should be getting some evolutions soon. People are ready to evolve certain Pokemon. Um, but, Birdie, Kenna, you guys still got to toss your answers in for this. Yeah, you guys have like an what army of teams. teams. What what your favorite Pokemon personality is of your teams. Of our team. Okay. Of your teams. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to be similar to Matt in that I, like, yeah, Ava boy. is my, 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 my main. And yeah. That no no Pokemon is ever gonna quite top Ava, uh, in that regard. However, I do. Oh, wait, 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 before Horsies. you say the. Okay, 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 okay. I was just make sure Horsey's because you I, as of this release you still have not said Horsey's name on camera yet. I do love Horsey's personality a great okay. deal. Um, you you're in for a treat with the Horsey content that's coming in the next couple episodes. <laughs> oh uh, well, no, Horsey I feel like it. Going. I feel like he said it. It was in twenty two, uh, right? Uh, or did you it, cut it out? I didn't. I didn't hear that audio in twenty two, uh, so it was probably in twenty three. Get my one for the day. I'll find out when I edit it later. <laughs> yeah, you get your one for the day. Damn, yeah, that you're using you that for the session, session recording Ooh, after that too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, no, wow. I know. I, I assumed we were. Okay, right. and then Kenna, what was your answer? Myrtle or die. <sighs> Myrtle okay, or die. Okay, that's fair I enough. Feel like I see that on like a biker jacket with a shell on the back of it. <laughs> Um, we will die. all have a myrtle till I die. <laughs> there, and then for the one that I like the most, uh, there's a lot of really good ones. There's a pick lot for, of really pick good for, ones. Pick um, for uh, Vermilion's team. Pick for Vermilion? Uh, who would I like playing? Uh, Caterpie. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, you Weedle? They caught a Caterpie? Weedle. Sorry, Weedle, not bug. Caterpie. Dang. Fuck me, dude. Fake fan. Fake right. fan. I am a fake fan. I don't watch our show. I'm going to be honest. Matt does you know, all the editing now. I so honestly, I think I watch the show more than anyone else based <laughs> on the amount of crap I've had to do recently. Yeah, you you really you really did do all the editing for the last month for us. I, I love yeah, I'm like, that. all right, guys, any question about this, I'm now taking over any rule questions or professor yeah. logs. Weed. Uh, <laughs> Weed. <laughs> that's my favorite one. That's that's the solid answer. Oh, I unfocused. Solid answer. Uh, Weedle is his Weedle personality is trait. <laughs> Terrifying. Like you're getting focused back in your camera is <laughs> like you're just sucking the soul out of something. Like sucked. it's mine. Um, okay, it's be so sucking the fear out of Weedle. Just like... <laughs> yeah. So um, next question was coming from Blade Kelly, which to summarize, because there was a little thread there, uh, it basically comes down to as your Pokemon ranks up, do they get more wounds? Similar to how like when you fight gym leaders and they have their boss Pokemon, they have more wounds than the average Pokemon compared to who was like, the other person in that thread? Cause I think they, they tossed a uh, river like person the, who asked the Hoenn question earlier. River, river, river. Yeah. Um, players, what's the answer to that question? No, they don't. You don't get any more wounds as you level up. Um, that would, they got to get their money up. Yeah. By money the I mean leveling, the power scaling is what increases. And if you increase the wounds, fights would just <laughs> take longer. Um, it comes down to being a skill issue. Yeah. I do worry that when we get to later battles, things like Giga Impact or Hyper Beam plus certain abilities might make a couple more like one hit KO games. But That's also, crazy. You like, feel worried. <laughs> I yeah, don't. Well, I'm worried for you guys. I'm going to have all the strong trainers. Well, I'm also like, I'm considering taking Ava down the Brave Bird route mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of possibly like reassigning her abilities and stuff. So I can make Brave Bird like a one-hit KO as well. <laughs> yeah, that could, that could be very interesting. So I think for now, it's going to stay how we've had it, which is that wounds don't increase in terms of either damage dealt or damage received um, or total like health. But yeah, that's 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 a, that's definitely a for now because we're playing at the lowest possible tier at the moment. Well, we're like ranked 
I mean, where we are in the story, we're at like rank three, four now out of ten. Oh yeah, I guess you're starting to get to the mid tier. That's fair. I still think of you as baby little, baby little <laughs> trainers. Um, okay, next question is coming from Corn Fielder. Uh, to all y'all, two part question. Uh, part one: What is your favorite animal? Uh, part two: What is your favorite Pokemon based on that animal? Uh, I can so easily snipe this one without any issue um it is uh red panda and my favorite pokemon is i believe it is it stuffle right stuffle yeah stuffle is based off a of red panda yeah uh it is adorable and i love it very much um and then it's uh beware form it's just him standing up getting all big it's great um i think that's uh, good also is a good shiny form as well but that question's come and gone that's valid so it's not your favorite pokemon it's your favorite animal and then a pokemon that you like based off of that animal Personally, uh, my favorite animal is none of them. Uh, I want to eat every kind of uh, meat on the planet. Death to them all. Um, I, animals are gross and nasty, and I want to stay inside for the rest of my life. So you're saying your favorite animal is a weather balloon, and your favorite Pokemon is Drift. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, so your favorite Pokemon is Missing now. Uh. Honestly, if I could answer Missing now, yeah. Um, no, but uh, real answer, I'm a cat guy. I love cats. If I had to have a cat Pokemon... To like, I to like just have. I'd probably have like a Lipard. I really love it. You want Incineroar just walking around an adult giant? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just a, that's just that's just a, a full guy living in your apartment in Incineroar. <laughs> he helps you move when you gotta that's move true. stuff around. So easy. Um, I like ravens a lot. Um, so I guess like a Corviknight, uh, which is bad. Because Tinkerton is like a main hitter on my team <laughs> in mm. Pokemon in, in the video game. Yeah. <laughs> I think I really like I I really like tigers. So I would have said like Arcanine, because just for like the orange and the black stripes. But I guess it technically be like Raikou. Okay. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Raikou? I don't remember. Raikou? Yeah. I mean, they're all dogs, but whatever. I mean, they're called the Raikou. legendary dogs, but like, they're very feline they're in some dogs. ways. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I guess. Oop, oop. I'm not. I'm also, not sure. Arcanine is a canine, and I know he's based off of like a big, like, Tibetan Mastiff, but like, mm -hmm. I always see him as like a big lion tiger Pokemon, even though he is a Same. canine. Same. Right. Yeah. So th that's why I'm like, I guess. I'm not yeah. really sure. I'm looking up articles of lions and tigers of the uh, Pokemon series, and uh, I mean, the three the dogs are coming up. It's Incineroar. So. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're the three legendary beasts. Um, my favorite oh, animal is motorbikes, cool. and my favorite Pokemon is... <laughs> my favorite Pokemon <laughs> is five <laughs> beasts. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Now I'm just looking at pictures of cat Pokemon. I like cars. <laughs> Run <Rem> room. <laughs> Yo, if Litten, like... If all if if Litten's line didn't end in Incineroar, I'd probably say Incineroar. And I say that with no hate towards Incineroar himself. I just don't want a grown man walking around my house. <laughs> so you'd be fine if it were on all fours. You'd be chilling yeah, if the grown the ass weird, man was uh, walking on all fours. Was it Landorus? Oh, that like the, the gin looking one that then gets turns yeah, into like a That's uh, also just a dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's kinda yeah, odd odd choice there. But uh, you know, that's uh we're cool with that. If we so, if you want to say Raiko, and that's we'll, we'll the judges will allow that. I think. Raiko, um, yeah, I think we're all on the we're, we're all on the same <laughs> we're on the same page. Actually, my favorite animal is a dragon, and uh, my favorite one is Rayquaza. That's my favorite real life animal that definitely exists. It's not Charizard. Charizard's a dragon. Charizard is a Western dragon. You're right. Um, um, Charizard <laughs> also existed pre dragon type, though. That's what I mean. Uh, it was a joke. It's not a dragon type. Um, it could maybe be like a dragon Terra type, but it's a dragon Mega Evolution. Yeah, I didn't say Mega. We don't respect Mega Evolutions in this house. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm just kidding. I don't the care. Mega Evolution rules. Um, That's fine. Yeah, so I don't got a Mega quick. Evolution Pokemon. Let me get rid of that real quick. Yeah. Um, and I think did I miss any other questions? I want to say that was all of them. Let's see here. I will um, do a quick double check. Uh, oh, oh, oh! oh uh, Dan Cornfielder had another question, um, and then Dan had another question too. So yeah. let me knock those out. My apology. Um, is there a mechanical difference between major and minor wounds? Besides the whole three to one thing, as in uh, would wounds be drastically different if you just said uh, Pokemon Fane at nine made minor wounds? So there 
That was a choice that I made when I wasn't sure if there would be a mechanical difference. Um, basically, what it comes down to is uh, I left that interpretation open for if I decided to do something similar to like exhaustion or some other similar mechanic in the game. Um, but as I'm sure all of my players are aware, what have we basically done with all of our wounds? Kill Pokemon. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I was saying, how do we treat them on the page? Even when it comes to damage, we all just treat them as wounds. Wounds. Yeah. Uh, cool. Anyway, uh, Dan's question uh, was, uh, what is everyone's favorite dual typing? And which Ooh, Pokemon? I can answer this for um, Birdie. With that typing, <laughs> do you like? I feel like we answered this before, didn't we? No, we, we answered favorite type. It's specifically calling it dual typing. Just Birdie's going to say, fuck anything with a dragon type on it, because... Birdie thinks dragon types are bad. Wow. That's what we learned. I did not. Wow. That's Flash literally the title say that. of last episode. Is, is dragon types suck or something like that? I was like not going to say that. But you were going to think it. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Um, Obviously, just Mudkip. If, you, if there's anything that involves me being able to choose Mudkip for most things, it's just going to be Mudkip. So water ground. Uh, that's my, my bread and butter. If we're talking like efficacy, fairy steel is real good. Um, like Tinkerton is real good. Um, if we're talking like my favorite, that's a tough one. Um, dragon fire, because then that's then you get a proper dragon. What? So what really are there? Dra dragon. What is a dragon fire type? Off the top of your head, I don't know that there are any, but it would be cool if there was. Um, What's she here? Oh, Turtonator. That's the only one. That's like that turtle guy, right? Yeah, it's the turtle guy from a Lola. He's the turtle that who, like, looks backwards smashed. and he's like, ram, turtle yeah. guy, angry. He's a sweet Looks like he's wearing a weird dude. hat. Um, there's a great oh, battle Mega in Sun and you Moon, you the anime, that like, it's Brock versus the main like guy from, from Alola. Mm -hmm. That uh, it's Turtonator versus Felix. Brock disrespects that guy. Yeah, he disrespects oh the my fuck gosh. out of that fight, but it's Brock great. is a Chad in that episode. He is, he is the villain in that episode. <laughs> if you want to see Brock actually murder someone, go watch that clip on YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. He is efficient. Um, if I, I mean, like, I actually have to go same as Matt. I always have a ground something on my team, and most of the time it ends up being ground water. And it's not even just Mudkip, like, Quagsire's in there, um, Wishcash is in there. Like, Groundwater is just a really fun combination, even though it's quad weak to grass. But, like, who uses grass types? Losers? Yeah, just stay exactly. off the grass. <laughs> I never touch grass. <laughs> I don't touch grass at all. Kenna, you got any favorite two-type two, two type combinations? Ooh, Gastron's a cool one, good one, too. Gastron's a great one. I love the pink Gastron. Sorry, keep going. Um, I... I just really like the aesthetics of ghost type Pokemon and I like some of the lore that gets dropped on ghost type Pokemon so like ghost dark ghost fighting um, I like Solid. a lot of those I think Marshadow is so cute that's fucking you know what that's valid that's so valid yeah. Marshadow is oh my god I forgot that this Pokemon existed and I'm looking at it and I'm like yeah this <laughs> he's is just a little guy a so little guy. ghost anything <laughs> Um, shout out to Gary Black. So apparently, back in the episode where you guys flew to Cinnabar Island, at one point we had referred to uh, what the ankle of a bird is called, um, oh, like yeah. the little the little bit. And Gary Black has informed us it's a Tasta Metatarsis. I nailed that on the first I, try. Honestly, I'm that was so on the tip of my of tongue when we were recording that. Sorry for not saying it. Yeah, Matt, I'm, why you didn't you bring known. bird facts with the tassel? This is my bad. I, 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 you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to have a conversation be open to our audience, and I'm glad that we were able to have that conversation. <laughs> as a team anyway, collective, we as don't a have a ton of questions on the YouTube ATM, but remember, if you guys comment on our YouTube, we may occasionally answer your questions here. Though, if you want a guarantee of your question actually getting answered, please head over to our Patreon, because we do this every single month. Every single month. And it comes out on time most of the time. And if you know what's good, share it with your friends and subscribe. Hey, yo. If you haven't already. You gobbled your last goo if you did. <laughs> is that the outro of the video? Is that over? Did we finish? <laughs> no, now it is. Oh, okay. And cut. <laughs> there we go. We did All it. Right.